Pennsylvania is home to 14 power plants that generate energy using coal refuse, or waste coal. The coal was left behind in piles when old coal mines were closed and abandoned. In the last 20 years, these plants have removed 200 million tons of environmentally damaging coal refuse scattered throughout the coal regions of the state. This activity has improved or restored more than 1,200 miles of polluted streams and reclaimed more than 7,000 acres of abandoned land, making it available for productive uses. Today, with at least 300 million tons of coal refuse remaining, the industry is in danger of having to shutter these plants. Doing so would leave the coal piles behind, either to become a taxpayer liability or a continuing source of acidic water and air pollution, a health and safety threat. ARIPA, a trade association representing the 14 generating plants, is urging Pennsylvania legislators to expand a recently adopted tax credit measure, increasing it to $10 million per year in 2017. We're looking for a partnership with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to address this important environmental issue of cleaning up the residue of past mining. If we can't continue to do it, then the liability for, these, for cleaning up these piles reverts to the Commonwealth and obviously the taxpayers. Ellis explains that the reasons for the financial distress are economic. In simplest terms, a sluggish economy and reduced demand means that it's costing more to produce energy from coal refuse than the companies can sell it for. The tax credits would be an investment of $10 million per year, resulting in a return of $26 million per year in environmental improvements. You put up $10 million to get $26 million, I think it's a good investment. Expanding the tax credits would provide the Commonwealth with both environmental and economic benefits. From the standpoint of the general public, the most critical aspect of our program is the remediation of coal refuse sites throughout the Commonwealth. The coal refuse sites are major sources of pollution. The, uh, one of the primary pollutions from coal refuse was burning in the past, where they would spontaneously combust or people would set them on fire. And when they set on fire, they would uh, throw off noxic uh, gases, pollution, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and some very toxic chemicals. In addition, you have the uh, ongoing mine drainage problem, the acid, iron, and sulfates, and some manganese and lumen that continue to discharge. They impact aquatic life and they impact the downstream user, the people who have them for water, uh, to take water from the rivers as water supplies, because that means there's additional cost for that treatment. To, that if we could get it cleaned up, we can help lower that long-term cost of treatment in those areas. The industry provides environmental and economic benefits alike, especially in Pennsylvania's rural regions. The specific parts of uh, that benefit most in Pennsylvania are the rural districts and areas. The economic benefit is $740 million per year and $20 million in taxes per year. These power plants offer well-paying jobs at an amount of about $70,000 per year uh, on, on average per person. The Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection estimates there still are at least 840 piles of coal refuse on abandoned mine lands scattered throughout the Commonwealth. The industry is optimistic that Pennsylvania will expand the tax credits in order to continue to address the environmental threat posed by the abandoned coal refuse piles. As Ellis notes, continuing this partnership benefits the Commonwealth, its residents, and the coal refuse industry, creating a winning solution for all concerned. For more information, please visit www.aripa.org.